Hey everybody, it is magician Mike Super. Welcome to my home. I was supposed to be on tour in Japan and Guam bringing magic to you, the military families, and world circumstances have changed all of that, but that's okay because I'm still going to bring you some magic because as an American, I enjoy two things. One, I appreciate our American heroes. That is you, the military families, and I sincerely thank each of you for your service. Secondly, my other favorite thing is American currency. That is a $1 bill on both sides. Or is it? They don't want you to know this, but I'm going to bring you into the inner circle. That is actually a $100 bill. They're just disguising it from you. That's right, every $1 bill is a $100 bill. All it is doing to be disguised is they're hiding the zeros. The mint to cut down on printing actually employs a special origami fold. And if you know that fold, you can reveal the other two zeros on that $1 bill. It's actually a $100 bill on this side and on this side. But again, they hide it from you and disguise it as a $1 bill by watch, hiding the zeros. If I hide the zeros and I employ the special origami fold, you will see that it actually looks like a $1 bill on both sides. Don't tell anyone I told you this. OPSEC. Okay, let's try something completely different. Uh, we're gonna use a deck of playing cards. They're completely shuffled and they're all different. That's important. Uh, but in case you're skeptical that they aren't shuffled here, we'll give them a quick shuffle live. Now, I'm going to show you why they don't let magicians inside of casinos. Because if they did, I would be able to touch the cards and then I'd simply cut them and cut them again and I could cut to the four aces. Now we're not gonna stop there. I'm gonna do a piece of magic that's one of my favorites. It uses only the four aces. Uh, and here, I want you to take a close look at the aces, front and back. Because the ace of spades is our leader ace. And I'm gonna to attempt to make each ace disappear using a few extra cards, all right? These are distraction cards. Now, we don't need the rest of the deck. This is all we need. In fact, the ace of spades is most important. We are living in a sanitary world. So I'm going to place the ace of spades with its cards inside the Ziploc bag and hermetically seal it. We'll set it right here for now. Now, for the trick, I'm gonna make each ace disappear. The ace of diamonds is first. Okay, uh, here, I'm gonna set the Ace of Diamonds there. If you take a look, these are distraction cards. If you looked at those cards, you were distracted and the Ace of Diamonds has disappeared. We'll do it again. Now you know what to look for. Uh, the Ace of Clubs, we'll place it in the center of the cards. All right, I'll show you where it is. I put two cards on top and one, two, the Ace has vanished. Now there's only two more aces left. The ace of hearts. Watch. I give it a little bit of air and it vanishes completely, leaving us with the ace of spades. I want you to take a look. I will unseal it for the first time. Nothing in my hands, right? We have the Ace of Spades and it's three cards, but those three cards are now the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs, and the Ace of Hearts. I hope you enjoyed that and I thank you all for your service. It's time to teach you a magic trick, but first I will show you the trick. I have here a coin, a 50 cent piece. That's the secret, finding a 50 cent piece. Where do you get those? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can use a button, you can use uh, a Snapple iced tea cap, uh, anything you can find, a bottle cap will work. So here's the trick. 
I'm also using a magic marker. Watch. I will make the coin disappear on the count of three. Watch. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, the, I did it backwards. Hold on. Start. Wait a minute. That is a little bit eerie, right? I made the pen disappear. All right. We said we were going to make the coin disappear. Watch. One, two, three. And the coin has disappeared and reappeared in my pocket. Check it out. Boom. We'll teach you how to do that. Welcome back to the coin tricks in a sanctum of secrets. We're going to teach you how to do the vanishing coin trick with a marker and a pen. Again, you can use anything. You can use a Snapple cap. You can use a bottle cap. You can use a button. But here's what you do. Watch closely. Uh, to make it vanish, you're going to count to three. One, two, three. But the pen is going to vanish. Notice I'm turned this way. I'm going to do the exposed view. Watch. Uh, you go one, and you touch your ear. Two, they're really looking at the coin now. Three, you leave the pen behind your ear and cover up the coin. Now, in a split second, they think it's the lamest magic trick ever. Now, remember, I'm turned this way. And so will you to hide the pen and you'll say, wait a minute, I must have did it backwards. And that's when you say it's a little eerie and you point to the pen behind your ear. But what I'm doing right now as I'm grabbing the pen is over here, I'm putting the coin in my pocket, but I'm pretending to still hold it, but there's nothing there. So I just dropped the coin in my pocket right in front of them. And you say, oh, the vanishing coin trick. Let me try it again. One, two, three, and it vanishes. And then you show that it literally traveled into your pocket. And there it is, the secret to the vanishing coin trick. Okay, it's time to learn a trick. I'm going to teach you how to find two cards, all right? We have uh, the seven and the four. Take a close look. Now, normally you'd use people for this, but you can have people put the two cards into the deck, right? You snap, and in a split second, you can find their cards. We're going to teach you how to do that. So here is the secret to finding the two cards. Uh, you're using extra cards. What? Yes, you're using extra cards. So you have two pairs. We have the four and the seven and you have a duplicate pair of the seven and the four. Now you'll notice I'm using the four of spades and the seven of spades, and I'm using the seven of diamonds and the four of diamonds. Here is your secret setup. You can take either pair, you put one on top and one on the bottom. So as you figured out, you're not really finding these cards, but no one ever remembers exactly which card is which. They just know there's a red seven and a black four. Uh, and when you find it, it will be the opposite. So all you have to do is you take each person's card and you let them insert it into the middle of the deck, right? And everything seems fair. And now what you do to find the cards, because we have our duplicate cards on top and bottom, is you're going to hold the deck tight and then let the cards all shoot out except for those two. Now this is the part you practice. So you have the two cards on top and you go like this and you show the two cards. The hardest part is learning this. So you'll practice and then when you get it, you can do the trick. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I truly hope I get to meet you all in person. And if you see me coming to the base, bring out the whole family because we're gonna do some impossible things uh, that are gonna be a lot of fun. So from my family to all of your families, thank you so much for all you do and thank you for your service. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Mike Super, signing off.